always remember that this, the bulbous bit at the bottom, are where the pips are. So you know that this long bit is going to be solid. That's an important thing, because you can take that off and you can stuff it, which is a really nice thing to do. So the first thing we're going to do is take this top off. Okay. Right, now I'm going to cut it. I think there'll be the pips will be just beginning at this area. And do you know what? I'm absolutely spot on because have a look. This is how good I am. That. That's all it was. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit, just take a little bit off. Okay. So that will go on top, yes. So there we are. That I roast whole. Or I would make it into a puree. I would never cut it. There we go. Now, and I'd put that on the top. Now the thing about this is the skin is very fine on a butternut squash. I actually like to roast it with the skin on. So we're going to do it two ways. We're going to roast it as if I'm roasting it with the skin on. So we'll take it down, down, and I'm going to roast it pieces like that. Now I'm going to take the skin off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it with this knife. Here I go again. I always find it easier to cut rather than do it with that, the, the peeler. Now, now, at this point, if you want to dice it, you do the same thing. Actually, exactly the same thing. Again, puree, 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 puree purees. Dice, dice. Get four after this. Perfect. Now, there we are. That's nice dice. So, nice dice. There we go. So, that's a good size here to have in risotto. You can make a lovely risotto, a puree to put into the risotto, and then you can finish it with whole bits of seared uh, butternut squash. Now, the thing about butternut squash, it's if you cook it in a pan or in tin foil or grease paper in the oven, the flavour is so much more intensive. It's absolutely delicious. It's like when you do, for instance, a beetroot or something like that. The flavours are very much more intensive, and when you actually puree anything like that, it tastes so much better, I can't tell you. It's utterly, utterly delicious. Now, again, we can take this, whoopsie, thinly. This is great to put in a stir fry. This is really nice for a stir fry, guys. A bit unusual, put it with the ginger, really delicious. This, I might as well use my puree, that's my puree. There's my dice, I can go finely dice, but the thing about this is, I'm going to say something, because there's so much water in butternut squash that actually it, it goes so much smaller. So I would be very aware of not chopping it too small. Keep it chunky rather than big. Okay, so there you go. And enjoy roasting that. Stuff it. That will do deliciously, I think, for four people. So you can put some rice in there and have it to go with chicken or something. Delicious. There you go. Enjoy.